We're going to start with the basics. Everybody's heard of the OSI model of seven layers. I don't use it. Okay? I only use the four-layer model because that's what you can actually work with. For example, this is where I start asking you guys questions. Layer one's the physical layer, right? It's called a bit layer. And the bit layer just simply means one and a zero. So if I was to type Tony, T-O-N-Y, that's made of a bunch of zeros and ones, right? So that's all we're trying to do, is represent data in its simplest form, zeros and ones. Well, on a wire, what does that mean? Well, if it's a piece of copper, that means it's an electrical signal of some kind, correct? If it's fiber, we're talking light. And if it's wireless, we're talking RF, right? But this is the first layer. And I tell people, if you can electrocute yourself or blind yourself with it, it's probably layer one, right? So when we talk about layer one, we're talking about the wires, obviously. And if we get a whole bunch of wires and we all plug it into a box in the middle and we want a layer one box to combine all this, that's called a hub. Okay. The problem we have with layer one networks is if I got a problem with my wire and there's a, a problem and there's noise, this is wrapped around an electrical motor, an arc welder, something, okay, and there's noise on the wire. The problem with that noise is that box doesn't know it's noise. It just knows it's ones and zeros. So it will take noise and send it everywhere. Right? And that's the problem we had with networks when they first came out. One bad wire would take the whole network down. I'm sure you've heard of that before. Okay? That's the physical layer. 